you're weaving with Morinu Nasa of Samoan Weaving HQ. Okay, so this is the body part four, and we're going to weave down in sections. So you've got your straight parallel bottom there to the top. And now, just this one is about how to continue weaving. So what you do is you take up your uppermost strips, you bend them back upwards out of the way, then you bring down um, the second strip. One strip will always already be down. You bring down the second strip like so and what you can do to carry on forming the edge is turn the first strip that was already down or closest to the edge over turn it in on that 45 degree angle to create the edge or the side and then you weave up and down over the second strip that was laid down so you're just weaving and then you continue you lay down the next uppermost strip from the top and again, you can also turn the outermost strip to add to that edge. Continue forming that edge. And you just continue weaving up and down over that strip that was brought down. You can't go wrong because you can see that it can only either go up or come down over that strip. Okay. And then we just repeat the process with all of them. You bring down or lay down the next upper strip and weave. You can uh, add, create another um, add towards the edge that you're making on the side there. Or if, if you feel like that's enough, then you don't need to create the edge. You just weave up and down. And then what we're going to start doing is just, you know, weave across parallel again. So now you're weaving it down in sections. Okay, and this one we're going to do another add to the edge again. So we turn in that outermost strip to add another bit to the edge. Give it a little bit more length. So I had to figure this out for myself. <laughs> which is just the way things go. You figure it out yourself and, and you learn from it. So here we go again, bring down the next strip and again you weave. So when I first did that, the gold, the big two meter wide by one and a half meter long one, it looks kind of wonky on the sides if you look closely enough. And that's because I was like weaving down in diagonals and because I hadn't learned yet, learnt at that time to weave across in sections until I kind of figured it out near the end. So the bottom half of it and one edge of my gold mat looks straightish, but the other side looks a bit wonky. But you know, you learn. And that's the only way, you know, you will figure things out for yourself and um, see what works and doesn't work. So as you already know, I'm no authority in weaving. I'm just learning learning the basics and defining my own weaving art, if you could call it that way. So I think we're going to speed this up again to continue finishing this off, bringing down that strip. And now we're not adding an edge to it without adding to the edge. Is that clear enough? Did I make that large enough? <laughs> So I hope these tutorials are helping you and I do apologize for leaving this one long. I just got preoccupied with other things and trying to find some time in the evening when the kids go to bed. Uh, just don't count on falling asleep myself. So here we go. It's forming nicely. So please, I really do need the feedback of how these go for you. Um, I just want to make sure that they're clear enough. I know it's it's quite difficult teaching over the internet. And um, the only way you're going to learn, by the way, is to actually do it. So watching these recordings over and over again will not produce a mat. Just so you know. <laughs> you actually have to make it. So that means you have to weave. 
and you will make mistakes and that's perfect because that's the only way we're going to learn. No one's going to beat you up for making mistakes. Okay, so now you will start to realize that you'll be weaving the same number of strips um, as you go across. So I think here you'll realize we're just weaving up and down. Um, I think it's eight strips. There's four up and four down. Uh, there we go. Look at my fancy title. Weaving is now forming parallel to the top. I try to make these videos as short as possible, but sometimes as we, you know, um, just adding to the weaving, so it takes a lot more time. <laughs> um, and I don't want to leave anything out in case that's a missing part that, you know, could be critical to you completing yours. So bear with me in this one. This is 8 minutes and 35 seconds, including my um, fast forwarding of certain parts. Yeah. So I am defining my my love of weaving within this and um, how I've gone with other pieces that I've been practicing. Okay, I'm just showing you the diamonds. I'm pointing to diamonds with that scissors, just so you see that it's just going across. Okay, and there's me. In my fury of weaving, courtesy of technology. Okay, so you're just weaving straight across now, and you're now you're gonna come, you're forming the edge on the other side now, just that little triangle bit that's left to do. And it's the same thing, you've got to turn it, turn the, the outermost strand inside into the weaving and down. There we go. So it's, you know, parallel or lined up with the next strand that's going down. So you're just um, forming the side. And it goes down, up and over, and you weave again. So um, my I fell in love with um, curling ribbon when I first made my uh, mini mat back in April of this year and then I made a second mini mat which was smaller than the first one I'd made and I was just so amazed by it and then yeah ended up doing that big one because I thought I was a champion then and um, now I'm realizing I, I, I love curling ribbon and I love the fact I can create art on the mat or within the mat, I don't know the correct word, but that's where I'm at right now. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I look forward to part five and where we're going to lock up this weaving so it's nice and tight at the bottom. This is Maureen Yunasa of SamoanWeavingHQ.com. Thank you.